Hey, what's going on everyone? Axel here, and I've got some not so great news today. Nintendo announced that Zelda Breath of the Wild is going to have a $20 season pass. This is the first time Nintendo's ever ventured into this realm of season passes. Yes, they've had DLC before for some of their Wii U games, but this is the first time they've announced a season pass mechanic with their DLC, and it's really disappointing as a Nintendo fan for me to see that. Nintendo is the one company that, despite all the screwed up things they do with YouTube and all the mistakes they continuously make by being out of touch, one thing I could always say is that, you know what, at least they give uh, free multiplayer online, they don't do the DLC season pass crap, they do DLC right, and now we're seeing more and more signs of Nintendo taking up all the bad traits of the modern gaming industry. When the Switch was revealed, they announced that they're going to have a paid multiplayer service, subscription service. Um, so they have a paywall now for online for their games. And now this is the first game they've now announced is going to have a season pass. So they're doing all of these wrong things that uh, Sony and Microsoft games have been doing for the past, well, many years. So that's really disappointing to hear. Just to give you a rundown of what's going to be included in the season pass, on March 3rd, day one, when Zelda drops and when the Switch drops, there's going to be a handful of mostly cosmetic additional features you're going to get day, day one. There's a couple, there's a costume, I believe there's a few treasure chests, but it sounds like it's not going to be anything major day one, so there's no additional content day one from what i understand the additional content is going to come in two releases one in the summer of this year and one in the holiday season of this year so let's go ahead and talk about why this is such a bad thing now i know what a lot of the nintendo fanboys are going to say they're going to say that well this is a complete full game they've been working on this game for years and years this is a complete full game nintendo look at their history they've done dlc right they're not going to pull any of the content out of the game it's going to be a full game without the content it's going to be just additional stuff you can buy if you want well i don't really want to argue about what percentage is right for it to be considered a full game because that's a subjective argument what i will say is that Nintendo is going down this road of taking ownership away from gamers, and that's what really bothers me with this, because I'm fine if Nintendo wants to create a little bit of extra content after a game is released, and that's fine, but in this case, the game's not even released yet, and they've announced this. Now, I did support some of the DLC for Smash Brothers Wii U just because they did create it after the game was released and that's the proper way to do dlc now we know that this is not the case they're cl clearly have been working on this before the game's released because there's going to be additional content locked behind a paywall for um, players who buy the season pass on day one so that's really disappointing to hear but i don't really want to get into the argument like i said about what percentage is the right percentage of content to have on the disc for it to be considered a full game? Because, like I said, that's very, very subjective. What really bothers me is Nintendo is now venturing down this path of pushing digital-only distribution. What this does now is essentially you cannot own the full game of Zelda Breath of the Wild Day 1 anymore. You can't own the full game on disc. You don't own the full game anymore. Yeah, you can buy the DLC, but that doesn't mean you own it. Let's take a game like like this, one of the best games Nintendo's ever released, Super Mario Galaxy. This is 100% of the game that I'm holding in my hand. I have all the rights to this content. I can play it, I can sell it, I can gift it to someone, I can donate it to someone, but 100% of the content is under my control. Now when I buy Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I probably won't buy anymore because of this announcement, I'll have maybe what? 80% not maybe 80% if we're lucky of the content under my control So the other 20% is gonna be locked behind a digital paywall So if I want to sell a game the Zelda breath of the wild if I want to sell it down the road If I want to give it away Resell it on eBay the value of my purchase is going to be devalued I can no longer sell the full game because part of the game is locked behind a paywall So I no longer own the full game Nintendo has complete control of the other 20%. And what this does is it's going to reduce the value of the game on the resale market. And that's what we've seen with tons and tons of games um, that's come up through the years from, from Sony and Xbox. Um, for example, this game, um, Star Wars Battlefront, which got a lot, ton of hate for their season pass and DLC. This is what? This is like 
maybe 40% of the game I'm holding in my hand. And because of that, the resale market for this is just hardly non it's kind of non-existent because this disc is not worth that much it's mostly a full digital game and nintendo is dipping their toes into this realm where they're reducing what you can do on the resale market they're reducing what you can resell what you have control of they're taking your ownership away from you you no longer can own the game you no longer have full control over the game. Nintendo has full control over 20% of it. They basically have DRM locked in place on the digital only portion of the game and that's what I hate about this. You cannot own the full game anymore. That's why I hate DLC. That's why I rarely support it. That's why I never support season passes. I've never bought a season pass. So that's the really, really disappointing thing for me and I can't support a move like this. And I know what a lot of you are going to say. Axel, you're being cheap. Nintendo has to make money. In this day and age, gaming costs are going up, which I understand. And Nintendo has to use these methods to stay profitable because they, as a gaming company, deserve to make a profit. And I completely agree. They deserve to make a profit, and that's fine. But what I don't like is this nickel and diming system that the gaming industry is using to make their money. What I want to happen is I want Nintendo to actually sell me a full game. If that game has to be $80, that's fine. Just put it all on the disc day one. I don't care. Just I'm so sick of games being split up into chunks. If a game is $80 worth of, if it's a good, great game, that's $80 worth of content where I'm getting the full game on disc, on cartridge, I guess the Switch is going to use, whatever. Just if I'm getting a full game, I will support that. I will pay $80. I would much rather these companies stop selling me part of the game for $60 and other parts for $20 and $20 increments. I would much rather them day one sell me a game for $80 or $100. And if they can show me that there's $100 worth of content on there, I will gladly pay that. I just want the full game. So guys, please comment below and let me know what you think about this. Do you support this? Are you going to buy the season pass? Are you going to be like me and wait for possibly a game of the year edition? What do you think? Also, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a subscribe if you want to check out my videos in the future. You can also hit me up on social media on Twitter and Facebook at Axel Alexander. I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.